Hello everybody, my name's Steve, I'm the British Railroader and welcome to the Model Railway Room for a very quick update about the channel and a little bit of a takeover by a fellow YouTuber but I will tell you about that in a moment. First layout update wise, I actually haven't done that much to the layout. Um, probably the most significant thing is I've started to fit some point motors. Um, I think the Americans call them switch motors. Uh, the ones that I'm using are from Rails of Sheffield here in the UK. They um, are the solenoid type, but they come with a DCC decoder so that I can operate everything off of my NCE power cap, which is great. I love it. I think it, uh, it, works, it works brilliantly. I've used these um, point motors and decoders before. And in fact, what I've done is I've taken the decoders from three old layouts that I'm dismantling and basically mated them with new point motors. I couldn't, unfortunately, reuse the old point motors um, because they wouldn't fit with my baseboard. So I've got three successfully um, set up, wired into the layout. Um, I've flashed up some photos so that you can see that there is a jumble of wires in there and one of the great things is is that it will actually set the polarity of the frog for me so i wanted to make sure that was all wired in properly i will put a link in the description to rails of sheffield's um website so that if you are interested in buying these you'll know where to get them from um, the decoders themselves are actually produced for rails of sheffield by dcc concepts um, and they are just simplicity to use, um, you know, it, to program them, you flip a switch, which basically says program, decide which number you're going to set it on your controller and then flip the switch back and that's it. It's all programmed. But anyway, that's the only work that I've really been doing on the layout. So let's just go over to this little takeover. Now, as most of you know, I am a big fan of the works of Lance Mindheim. So this is Lance's latest book. I can't remember if I showed it to you, but it's um, the first of what hopefully is going to be a series where he talks about short lines that you can model. It's, it's fictional. It's kind of based on a real area, but the, the short line he describes in this is fictional. And... What, I'd, what I've noticed recently is Lance has started to put out a lot more content on his YouTube channel. So his YouTube channel's only got uh, probably about a dozen videos on there. Most of them quite short. Some of them are actually quite old. Um, but just recently, he's been putting some operating operations videos on there to show you what he describes in some of his other books on how to operate a small switching layout. And this is quite, this is absolutely fascinating um, to me because what he tries to do is bring in a level of reality um, by making sure that you have the pauses that would be in there, the time it takes for the conductor to walk from one end of the train all the way down to the other. So take a look. Again, I will put a link to um, his channel in the description, um, but also Lance has recently been interviewed by my friend Ray Arnott at the Around the Layout podcast, um, which I've spoken about before. And if you've never listened to a podcast before, go and look up the Around the Layout podcast. You can find it on Spotify. You can even see it here on YouTube. Again, I'll put a link to the channel in here. But Ray interviewed Lance and they were talking about some of Lance's principles of operations and layout planning, et cetera, et cetera. And I was quite heavily influenced when I was planning Brooklyn Park on a lot of those principles, but I actually completely ignored probably the most important one, which is that less is more. And when I look at Brooklyn Park now, I do think to myself, it is quite a busy layout and there's a lot of stuff on there and actually, I could have done with maybe one or two less sidings, um, which would have given me more scope for other things. But hindsight, as they say, is a wonderful thing. And, you know, I'm happy with Brooklyn Park as it is. One day, you know, especially if we were to move house or anything like that, and I had a, a bit more space, I would probably, um, definitely, it's in here, it's in here already, 
um, build a different layout um, based on a slightly different part of the New York and Atlantic Railroad. But that's a story for another time, um, which I'll hopefully um, tell you one day soon. If you haven't, um, you know, seen any of Lance's stuff, um, if you're not aware of him as a modeler, I would thoroughly recommend, you know, going to his YouTube channel, having a look at some of his videos, going to his website, I think it's lancemintime.com. Um, you know, he's got a Facebook page. He's, I mean, he's, he's like most of us nowadays, you know, quite social media savvy. And all of his books um, are available here in the UK via um, Amazon. Um, and they are quite reasonably priced. And if you are planning um, an American themed short line, um, just or a small switching layout, his books are absolutely invaluable. Um, I would highly recommend them. Okay, that's it for this update. As I said, it's a very short update. Nothing much has been happening on the layout, um, which I must change because, you know, there's plenty to do, especially from a scenic perspective. I've just kind of taken a moment just to kind of step back and um, reevaluate. But um, hopefully I'll have a little bit more to report in the next couple of weeks. Um, but that's it. So thank you very much for watching. Um, big hello to all of my new subscribers. And I've picked some up in the last couple of weeks. Um, welcome to the channel. I hope you're enjoying it. Um, if you have enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, if you haven't done so already, please consider hitting that subscribe button and then click the little bell and you will get notifications of when all my new videos um, are released. But this is me, Steve, the British Railroader, sporting a new T-shirt, um, advertising my wares, as they say. Um, this was um, a suggestion from my lovely wife, a.k.a. Mrs. British Railroader. So if you see me out and about at shows, etc., I will probably be wearing this. So you've got no excuses not to come and say hello. Anyway, this is Steve, the British Railroader, saying bye-bye for now, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.